Well, people like us today brings us to Mwiki where I'm to meet John Karanja, one who earns a living through running errands for people. He believes that a journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step. So, let's meet him. Yes, Karanja. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? Fine, fine. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. So when are you having another? Uh, I am expecting a call any time from now. Mm -hmm. yes. So please tell me who you are and what you do for a living. My name is John Karanja and uh, I run an errands company which I started last year towards, towards the, the end of last year. What did you want to be when you were a child? I know you definitely did wake up and then start the errand company. I wanted to be an accountant and uh, I tried it once. And then I ended up finding that it's not working. So I had to quit and try something else. So when, when did you have this idea of uh, uh, doing the errands for people? This one came as a, at a, after a long time, eh? thinking, what can I do on my own? Yeah. Instead of maybe going to get, uh, looking for employment. With, when you go to look for an employment, there are very higher qualifications. And maybe some, some of them, you don't have them. So you ended up you end up finding that uh, you you'll fail in that interview. I mean, you are not qualified. Depending on the qualifications that they, they set, they find that you are not you don't have the required qualifications. It's a long journey. Okay, I told you I started uh, officially 2014, but it's an idea that came in mid January 2014. So I've been trying to work on it day in, day out, day in, day out. You start, uh, there are very many processes. First of all is communicating your vision. When you have the vision, how do you communicate it to your clients? Who's, uh, at the end of the day, it's the clients who will give you that work or that opportunity to serve them. So you have to effectively communicate your vision to them. And uh, it's, it's a challenge. For people to understand what you are doing, it's a challenge. That's 1.78 trillion shillings. This will be the third budget under the Jubilee government. And now we're joining... Speaking of challenges, I, I heard you mention a few, because I, I, I must imagine that your job entails a lot of going to the field. What are some of the challenges you encounter when you're out there? One of them is, uh, it's like I've told you, people trying to understand what you are doing. You tell, them, you tell someone, I can do banking for you. And they wonder, how, how, how do you do it? Yeah? How do you do it? You come to my office, pick my cash, take it to the bank, it cannot work. You, you know, people don't believe in sending others to do their, their errands or their things. They don't believe. So it's, it's a challenge. Someone calls you and tells you, can you do this for me? Yes, and then he says, wait a minute. Let me think about it. Because them, they don't believe whether it can work. Yeah, it's, it, you know, it cannot work to them. So it's a challenge to tell them that it can work, it has worked for others, uh, like, um, say, shopping. I do shopping for people. You send me your shopping list, and then you send me to the supermarket to go and buy everything that you want. And sometimes people find it hard. You do shopping? Ah, how? Uh, I started by walking. You walk from one office to the other. Sometimes you take a bus, take you to where the customer is, pick the parcel or document or the mail, and drop it somewhere else. You walk, you can also have a tuk-tuk, a three-wheeler tuk-tuk, that's what I use. When I do a lot of shopping, I place it in the tuk-tuk and deliver it to the clients. Sometimes customers have uh, huge goods, they want uh, taken from one point to the other. I also use it because it's species eh? and then I also have a motorbike a motorbike uh, I bought it recently and it's quite effective in terms of delivery what motivates you as a person to mm -hmm. do what you're doing one is that uh, you have to move on you have to move on and it's good to try something else on your own try to do something you know difficult things it's people who work them out to bring them out in simple ways. Even if you, you want to climb a mountain, you know, to, to people for, for people to say that you reached the top of the mountain, you have to go through challenges. 
no, this is a mountain ahead of me. I have to climb it to see success. So that when I tell people or my employees that this is how it's done, you are able to give them a clear way of doing it, that you will find these challenges, but when you find these challenges, you have to keep moving on. You have to keep moving on. Because you, you don't have to depend, keep on depending on others, and uh, those opportunities, maybe they are not there. So you have to try your best, make something of your own, use, uh, use skills, knowledge, research a lot, come up with something that can bring sense to, to the people. The youths are perceived to be people who don't want to do uh, something to earn a living. They just want to sit down, do something that is relaxing and not straining their capacity. What advice can you give such people who don't want to do something? Opportunities are there. Opportunities are there. And there are quite many. Yeah. You, you just need to, to be focused. As I have told you, when you go to school, you get the knowledge, you get the skills. Can you use them? Don't keep looking at the government. The government is just there to support you. And you know, the, the core functions of the government is to give you security so that you have a conducive environment to do your business. Yeah? So when you sit down and you, you are just chewing mugoka day, day in, day out, <laughs> and uh, drinking alcohol, I think you have no, the future is dimmed because opportunities are there. And you can start them wherever you are. It doesn't matter what you have, you only need to, to be focused, remain focused. Know that this is something that you can do on your own. Well, thank you very much for the time this afternoon to have your people as well.